Hello folks and welcome. So Kali Linux. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the latest version of 2024.1 and that was released on a couple of three days ago on 228 of 2024. So um, for the folks that don't know what Kali is I will go on to uh, a website and show you a little bit more information about Kali. But this is not a daily driver, it's a security and forensics uh, and data rescue kind of distribution. Uh, ethical hacking, some people call it. Okay, so um, I will give you some what's new on here. And I'll also talk about installing a tool that has a combination tool. And that's a screenshot of it and its uh, function. <clears throat> I'll explain that uh, a little bit toward the end of the video. So I'm filming in 1920 by 1080, so adjust your YouTube player accordingly. Uh, this uses a 6.6.9 series kernel. Now Linux is for any age, but the name of my channel is Linux for Seniors. Should be an icon in the right hand corner if you would like to subscribe. If that icon is missing, you can either open up a web browser and type in at Linux for Seniors, one word. Go find me there or look me up on YouTube. Linux for Seniors, LFS. 330 videos on all kinds of tips and tricks and one of those videos will show you how to install this yellow mouse pointer because that is not installed by default. I also installed not only this application with this screenshot here but I also installed the tool to redact the information there. And when I open that tool up you'll see what I'm talking about. It'll be smeared out for personal info. So let's talk a little bit about Kali, if you don't know what Kali is all about. I'll use DistroWatch for this, and uh, I'm not sure what works for you as far as screen size, but hopefully that's large enough for you. I don't use the popularity factor on DistroWatch, but I do like their layout. So on 228-2024, there was no release done, with some no, new toys possibly. and. Uh, that distribution is 2024.1, and that's what I wrote down at the top. Normally, that's not there. So it's an XFCE desktop, Debian-based. So it's out of Gibraltar, and it's a data rescue, forensics, and security. Not everybody's cup of tea, but it does have some basic applications installed. And I installed some applications temporarily because I'm in filming entirely from the live copy. Penetration and testing distribution. Just going to show you what's in here. So choose your platform, as they say. What I'm using is the live boot mode. So let me zoom in on that. So um, the whole video of today is being filmed entirely off a USB stick. I added um, some extra software, but that software will disappear as soon as I pull that stick out of the computer. But more importantly, you can download the ISO, burn it onto a USB stick, and do the same thing I'm doing. You also have some links here once you uh, bring up the ISO on your computer. And uh, there's some links up here for you. So, um, <clears throat> walking through some of the menus. We have standard settings, and I'll go over briefly, very brief. There's a couple of uh, settings in here for appearance, but there, if you alter these again when you do a reboot, because this is a live copy, again, it's not installed, these will all disappear and default to these. So I'm not going to bother changing those. By the way, your standard default mouse cursor is not this yellow thing. I installed Radioactive manually. You do get that one, this one, and this one. Okay? Just wanted to let you know that, that you, this is not installed by default. And why did I pick this yellow thing? It's just, it's a nice pointer. It has some nice features on it too. But um, some things of interest, there's the Kali high dots per inch mode times two that you can click on. It makes everything double. And then I have um, filming in 1920 by 1080 as a reminder to adjust your YouTube player if you find things are too small. There's also the Kali tweaks down at the bottom. You do have some uh, usual applications installed. One of the ones I installed is GIMP with a different icon uh, to do some editing on this 
screenshot that I did here. All right, so again, there's some couple of things in here. There's no office installed. But I'm gonna talk about the general tools that you can find in the menu. You can search for tool names. You can right click on your screen. I'll also run through, through that area there. All right, so I'm gonna walk through it with bigger icons. And don't forget, right click, properties. You can change your menu height and width and also icon sizes, okay? And the logo doesn't appear here. I just added that in. Starting at the top. So um, DNS, the yellow pages of the internet, domain name system. It's also free DNS services out there too. If some of you folks don't realize that. Um, but anyway, so you, uh, DNS is uh, again, like the yellow pages of the internet. If, if you uh, look up google.com, it translates into like an IP address. And that's a tool I'm going to show you toward the end of the video that I added that uses uh, actually Traceroute and Ping all together. And it does also DNS lookup. But anyway, starting with these tools, I'm just going to walk you through the menus to let you see what's in here. Some of you folks are just starting out learning computer security. And some folks I have been using this kind of stuff for a while. And uh, where did I leave off here? Yep. And uh, I am just giving you an idea of what is installed on this live version. So you get an idea of what's in there before you download this thing, if you are curious. And again, this is not everybody's thing. But if you are learning or if you are in the market of this uh, kind of uh, systems, then it may be of interest to see what's in these menus. Or maybe not. You know, I've been around for quite a few years. Uh, Microsoft systems, Unix, Linux, Solaris, QNS, Max. We have all done probably a couple of things. And some people are just starting out. So 802.11, uh, we have many flavors of uh, wireless nowadays. I remember in the old days when it started with 802.11a. Now we're into AX and uh, AC is also a popular flavor nowadays, that kind of stuff. Sniffing, sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, it's back doors, tunneling, web back doors. Oops, probably, yeah, okay. I think I closed that really quickly, so sorry. Forensics. I'm just walking through the menus just to give you an idea what's on the stick. And again, I'm going to talk about that another tool toward the end and how to use it. So really, there's, you know, you can spend uh, quite a few hours in here talking about things. But anyways, uh, these are just links. So or most of these are links, I think, or all of them are. Live mode. Please remember that if you're using this ISO. So if you install anything, it's only temporary. So as in my case, I installed, um, I installed this application on, and this is a screenshot of it. And then I installed the GIMP to do the redacting of this screenshot. And, uh, and I might as well open it up right now. So this is a screenshot of this application right here. So I'm gonna open up terminal and I will make this a little bit larger for you if you like. So uh, it's called MTR. You can install uh, N uh, MTR by using your standard install commands. And uh, you know maybe it's my oversight, but I didn't see it in there. So um, this is a network diagnostic tool that combines traceroute and ping into a single diagnostic tool. Okay, so now I'm gonna go full screen. I'm gonna type in MTR all by itself. And all it's gonna do is continually ping in your local host. You can see the packets being sent. So you, you don't see that in here though, but if you hit P for pause, it, it will stop for a second. It's just paused. And then if I hit the space bar, it does continue. All right, if I hit H, it will give me a help screen. 
and then press any key to go back. So now you can see at the top there, uh, P for pause, for instance. Okay. So you can also uh, do the display mode where you can change that up a little bit. And then you can hit Q for quit. So in usage, you would normally do MTR space like google.com because that's where my screenshot comes in handy. Now, normally I would hit enter, but the reason I'm not going to hit enter is because I don't want to show you all my personal information because it will. And it'll show you all the routes that it gets to Google, including your ISP. So what I'm going to do here is close that and open up the screenshot because my screenshot has smear marks everywhere. That was my local IP address, but this is the current address to google.com, IP address, internet protocol address, as of this time, which was about an hour ago. And it started with my local host, modem, ISP, primary ISP, and then it went through all the way down to try to find all the routes to google.com. One of them had a severe packet loss at 90%, and it ended with uh, something .NET. Okay, it's all smeared out. But more importantly, sent, last, average, best, worst, and so forth. So you're going to get those kind of statistics when you're running this tool. This is a tool I did not find in the menu, but I installed it manually, and it'll go away as soon as I boot, um, it, when I reboot this machine, that tool will go away because it's not installed on this stick. This is installed temporarily. I just wanted to show you what the MTR tool is. So let me open this back up again to MAN MTR. You can see all the options that it has also. So um, you can see the different options downstairs. It's quite a few. Uh, but more importantly, let me enlarge, uh, enlarge this a little bit for you. So it's a combo tool. Again, I didn't find that. And maybe you have another favorite. You know, Everybody's different. But at least I just wanted to give you an idea of what's on Cali 2024.1. So again, this is a pen drive, um, USB stick, and you can temporarily install stuff. And, um, you know, you can connect to the internet and um, maybe you can upload, maybe you can uh, save that if you're saving files to um, another USB stick, if you want to do it that way, local drive, whatever it might be. I have one here. This is my other local drive that's sitting on this computer that um, is my demo too. So I have my demo files there. They're just sample files with all kinds of stuff on it. But in either case, I just wanted to show you a little bit about Kelly 2024.1 and what's in the menus. Thank you for watching.